Okay, Google, start my car. All right, this is the CL1 GSM. Um, this is the box that I'm using to, to make the car start. Um, it's got the SIM card in there right now, a GSM SIM card. You see the signals flashing. The SIM card, the best deal I found is from Hologram. And the card was free if you use their uh, developer, I think it was called. Um, the developer program, they'll send you one card for free, but you gotta pay shipping for like $5 or $7. Um, card will receive SMS text for free but it costs like 20 cents to send one back out right now I'm not too worried about receiving confirmation from the, the CL1 so I'm not worried about that I'm just going to use the uh, the free part of it um, I took it apart and wired in these solder in these permanent wires for power um, this connection seems a little loose I don't know if it's a tolerance type thing or quality control but uh, wiggle it around and the power would stop so I went in and soldered that in nice and you know nice connection there and I'll uh, I'm gonna wire the, the positive to a switch in the car so I can turn it on and off that way if the car is gonna sit for a while I don't have to worry about this doing any kind of battery drain um, anyways I use Tasker on the Tasker app right there to, to build the, uh, the app to start the car and I also, I also use Auto Voice to link that to using my uh, Google command stuff um, which I showed you that at the start of this this video, but app is pretty simple. There it is for the for my car. You just hit the start car button. You just send a text, and you'll see it receive it here in a second. And I used the uh, the inching part of it is what it's called. If you read in the the directions for the CL1. Um, for T0, that's like, I think 0.1 seconds or 0.3 seconds is what it says. That's enough to make that contact um, connect. You know, and then the, the green, normally open is the one you used. And the common, I'll tie those two together in the car. And on my particular um, starter, it's, uh, what is it? The, it, it has a spare wire on there that I, I guess they use for testing, but in the manual you can use it for uh, any other source to start the car besides a key fob. So that just goes to ground. So one side, um, like the normally open, will go to um, ground source, you know, just right to ground, and then your, your com, you just wire up that other line, that other wire coming out of the, uh, the starter. And that's about it. Um, once I get it wired up, I might take another quick video to show it in the car and stuff. But uh, all right, that should do it. One other thing, I guess I figured I'd show. I, I mine's the Excalibur. Um, I think it was the 260 is the one I'm running. 260 EDP um, remote start. Maybe that's 265. I don't know. I put it in. Couple months ago, so I can't remember. I don't know. 265 should have been the one. You know what? It's right there on the box. 260 EDP, the version two. Um, right there in their manual is the white and blue wire remote activation input. That's another way to, to start the car. That's the one that go once you touch that to ground, that'll start the car. And I'm pretty sure, looking online, the different manuals that these guys have, um, it looks like you know, and it's Omega product. And I'm pretty sure most of their brand name stuff has that same wire in it so I doubt it's just this Excalibur this model like the rest of them are probably going to have it too so I got it for 66 bucks on Amazon that was $30 off eBay shipped from China it takes about two weeks to get here and the Tasker app was about six bucks I think um, Auto Voice was I think three dollars and the, uh, the card was five dollars to ship and then the that's one thing I forgot to mention earlier. The card is actually to get a number associated with it, which is what you need for the CL1. You have to have a number. Hologram charges a dollar a month. So for 12 bucks a year, free.
free receiving tax. Um, you can't really beat it. So for about $100 overall for the starter and the, the stuff, the phone app and everything, maybe $110 and then $12 a year, it wasn't a bad deal. So, all right, hope this helped someone out.